friends, how are you? I am Luneha Jinsu. Welcome to my channel that is all about enhancing what you have. Today, I am going to share the unboxing of my new Note 20 Ultra that I got only because of BTS. Where are all my armies at? Ah, this army is broke. So, I was collecting money to get this phone and finally, after 9 months, I have it. The reason I got Note 20 Ultra is that Notes are the best Samsung phones. It comes in matte black box with a stylus pen on it showing the white color of the phone. I got the mystic white color of this phone because it looked too good in Jin's hands. I was initially going for the Jungkook and Suga color that is mystic bronze as it had a rose gold type of color but they didn't have it. So, I had to twin with Jin. <laughs> uh, the white still looks royal and is one of my favorite colors. First of all, we get a warranty card in the box. This is the case that holds important booklets, paper which are useless for me and a SIM injection tool. Then here comes the phone inside the box and wow, tell me it's sexy. So I also got a 25 watt charger, USB type C cable and earphones in the box. I was told by the people that Samsung will no longer be including chargers in new phones. I mean, okay. This Note 20 Ultra comes with a 25 watt charger. In Pakistan, we get Note 20 Ultra 5G Exynos 990 powered which isn't as powerful as the Snapdragon 865 version. Having Exynos means that your phone is going to get hot like you when you see your favorite. It has a 6.9 inch screen AMOLED with dynamic 120Hz refresh rate, HDR10+, Gorilla Glass, Victus which they claim protects the phone screen better. It also has an edge screen which then splits up in half and the back side of the phone cover starts. On the right side, it has Bixby and volume buttons. The back side is of matte white color with Samsung logo. Even though it is glass, it still has a matte finish which is very unique. Even the rims of the cameras are matching with its back. Not gonna lie, it has a huge camera bump which makes me nervous whenever I put my phone down. Here we have a triple camera. The top one is 12 megapixels, the middle one is 108 megapixel wide angle lens and then at the bottom we have a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 5 times optical zoom. The yellow circle is the flash and the red one here is the laser autofocus. This time the S Pen is on the left side as compared to the standard right side. It also has speakers, a microphone and a charging slot at the bottom. Just no headphone jack. At the top, it has a microphone and a SIM slot with a micro SD card slot. On the left side of the phone, we just have the design and no buttons or anything. Note 20 Ultra comes with a protector on the phone just like Note 10 Plus did. Now let's switch on the phone. I have already done the setup and used smart switch to transfer all the data from my Samsung S20 FE into this phone. Now we are on the home screen. You can see the phone has a curved screen and a punch hole camera. The display is amazing and I love how big yet still reasonable the screen is to use. The touch is very smooth of Note 20 Ultra phone. The phone's performance is quite fast even at 60 hertz, and it can perform even better at 120 hertz. It has a screen resolution from 720 to 1440 but as higher you go, the more battery it requires. At the bottom it has a home, reset and back button. Its sound quality is good too, I like how loud it is. Now, people love the S Pen feature of the Note Phone series, but to be honest, I don't use S Pens. I don't even remember when was the last time I used S Pen on my Note 10 Plus. But this time, the S Pen has a more pointed tip, which is also more precise and faster. It also comes with a middle button like the traditional S Pen and works really well. 
S Pen has air gestures from swiping up to taking pictures, but that consumes a lot of battery again. When we take the S Pen out, some shortcuts are displayed which shows what can be done with it. Whenever I write with S Pen, there is now a sound just like writing it on paper and the writing with Note 20 Ultra is so much smoother than all the previous versions. The battery is 4500mAh and to be honest, my Note 10 Plus battery is much better than this phone. In terms of battery, this is not at all a good phone now thinking that I have used it for 2 weeks. It has 8GB of RAM which is not impressive thinking that I paid 2 lakhs and 20,000 rupees. Let's talk about the camera. There is an option to switch between the lens that gives us 0.5x to 50x optical zoom. The front camera is 10 megapixels and it takes decent photos. It takes great pictures from both the cameras amazingly be it indoors or outdoors. There is still a little delay while taking the pictures like its previous models which is a little bothersome for me but what I love about this one is that I even took pictures on a moving car on the highway. The pictures were so crisp and clear. Even the night pictures are so good but the night video isn't good at all. It also has different filters and options just like other Samsung cameras. The back camera makes videos up to 8K with 24 frames per second. Also, the phone gets really hot when I'm using the camera and to be honest, I am so disappointed about that. This phone is IP68 water resistant and let me tell you, the next day I bought this phone, I was soaking in heavy rain for 15 minutes with no 20 ultra in my hands until I reached home but thankfully, nothing happened to it. This phone has wireless charging and reverse charging as well. The finger scanner is quite fast, accurate and a lot better than the previous models as well. I will update about Note 20 Ultra soon as I will use it more. Till then, let me know what do you think about this video of mine. Bye bye!